Hello there, buenos dias and welcome back to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I produce positive, original and informative videos on a regular basis about Benidorm and the surrounding areas, so if you enjoy this vlog, please consider becoming a subscriber so you'll never miss any of my brand new content as I upload it in the future. Today I'm taking you for a walk along one side of Carrer de Macat in the Old Town area of Benidorm, meaning Market Street in Valencian, as this is where the municipal indoor market is located in the heart of this neighbourhood. We start at the top end at the corner junction with Quay Costera del Campo and then head on downhill, where we firstly pass the old Hotel Venetia, which was part of the Magic Hotels chain, and which is currently being extensively renovated with the work having gone on for many months now. Built in 1975 and then renovated in 2003, its ambitious and substantial reformation works mean that when finished, this large hotel will be transformed into a four-star superior standard establishment called the Hotel Villa España. It will offer 316 themed rooms and suites named after different towns all over Spain and aims to be decorated to a high modern standard with the latest of technology offered while showcasing the cultural, artistic and landscape heritage of the country. Originally expected to open this year, it looks like it still has quite a way to go, but I'm sure it will be a great new accommodation option to look into when finished, with the building leading all the way down to overlook the beautiful Dove Park and Harbour area full of bars, restaurants and shops. We now come to the corner junction with the busy thoroughfare of Avenida de los Almendros, or Almond Trees Avenue, which to our right leads straight down to the Poniente beachfront. Looking ahead, however, after crossing directly in front of us on the corner, we come to the very modern and stylish four-star Hotel Varamar, which was built in 1965 and offers 136 rooms over its five floors. Fully renovated in 2016, it has standard and sea view rooms available, along with its own on-site buffet restaurant, which can be seen from the street, as well as a cocktail bar and a fabulous roof terrace, which opens from June until September, where you can sip on a drink and enjoy some great views or chill out to one of their regular live DJ acts. Carrying along the street, full of people waiting to be picked up after leaving the hotel and busy pre-Christmas shoppers, we next see the nationwide furniture store of Moblerone, along with signage for the Fitness Dreams Gym, which sits above their store, who focus on weightlifting in particular, whilst also providing exercise classes for all ages. We then pass the 24-hour indoor public car park, which customers of the nearby Mercadona store can use for free upon proof of their custom, and then a doorway leading to lift access down to the car park for customers. Whilst passing the colourful exterior walls of the local indoor municipal market, or Mercat de Benidorm, which dates back to 1963, we next see the Centro Auditivo Mediterraneo, who provide hearing aid repairs and accessories, along with a wealth of information and support. Next door is the men's fashion shop of Bizarro Addictive with lots of smart black and white outfits in its window and glamorous interior and this sits next to one of the entrances into the market which also houses a branch of the national supermarket chain Mercadona downstairs which can be accessed by escalator as previously mentioned. Continuing along after an empty unit with papered over windows, next up we see the Nautic Club Men's Fashion Store who sell clothes, footwear and accessories including popular and well-known Spanish brands such as Vespita, Paredes and La Española. Moving on we then pass the baby and children's clothes shops Verde Bebe filled to the brim with garments and accessories along with some cute elf outfits complete with stripy red and white stockings just right for the festive weeks ahead of us which culminate in King's Day or Epiphany on January the 6th when Spanish children receive the bulk of their Christmas gifts. We then walk by the side of the Touche Benidorm coffee shop and bar who offer gourmet burgers, succulent ribs and street food as well as a nice place to sit inside or outside in the sunshine and enjoy a coffee and pastry after a morning shopping. Crossing the junction with Carrer de Tomas Ortuño which leads down to the walking street, this area also seats many other alfresco tables and chairs belonging to various local bars and businesses. And then heading across into the square opposite, we see the large clothes retailer of Desastre along with the one-star Hostel Jardin and the apartments of Edificio Lot de Colón and it's here that we end today's vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed this short but informative stroll along Carrer del Marcat with me and maybe it's given you some inspiration to discover this interesting little road and only a stone's throw away from the Poniente Beach, Dove Park and Port. 
If you have enjoyed the video, please check out some of my many other vlogs which cover a huge variety of different subjects, including reviews and tours on local hotels, cafes, bars and new businesses, as well as loads of bulletins and updates on things that are happening around the resort. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time, maybe filming a vlog or sipping a cup of coffee on the street. Bye for now and catch you again soon. Cheers!